That's why there's so much effort on my face, personally. And Lily's doing the yikes, I'm coming out of a vagina face. <laughs> and Michael's not doing very much at all, which is quite realistically what the real thing was like. And I thought, wouldn't it be extra funny if we got a fully strip, stripping one, a naked man? Because to me, at that point, they thought there's nothing more funny than a naked man. Which, as an idea, I think a naked man is very funny, but in real life, often not as funny. <laughs> You know what I mean? Please, when will the Reverend Balls leave? Please come. <laughs> These are sexy, so brace yourselves. Not on me, no. but just around me, like a, like a sort of Harry Potter protective shield. It's because yes. she likes me so much. She gets so excited that she has to. <laughs> That's happened to me with people. That's probably her liking me so much. She's about to. Yeah. Me. A friend of mine was the doctor and was like, you know, pop a mask on. Do you wanna, do you wanna have a look at this? And I said, yeah. <laughs> Hope they've not seen Underworld. So if I if I'm if I vomit, you I'm run out. away. I'll be gone. If my leg falls off, thank God I'm Beckinsale's in. Yeah. here. Yeah. So now there's a, a, a thought that possibly I've got a, a, a rubber leg or a, pre a pretend leg, which if I have, I've kept it awfully quiet for decades. <laughs> Time to apologise now to my college boyfriend who I was so upset about that haircut that when it was over I punched him. Isn't that awful? Just from a reflex in the shoulder, not the face. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But in the you, balls. <laughs> you think you look like a, a, another celebrity? No, I definitely look. I look. I'm. I look exactly like Ryan Reynolds. Like when sometimes I see a bus going by with a poster on, I think, damn, I look hot. Oh wait, it's not me. It's <laughs> also I never did that movie. No, I've been you at home. You, you see it? It's weird, right? Obviously, he's not even like a sort of slightly girly boy bander type, but he's like a big Canadian man. I really see myself in him. I can't be in the same room as him, so one of us would, I think, explode. Like, something would happen. <laughs> but I have had like boyfriends be in the same room as him when I wasn't there and feel really compromised and I feel like way too intimate. No, but they just feel like they've got like a special, like, they, they, they sort of know things about his undercarriage that they shouldn't, but they don't. <laughs> <obviously Yeah>. they <laughs> don't. <laughs> I found myself in the elevator going, wait a second. I've been in this elevator before, this elevator's very familiar, which never, I'm not constantly saying that in elevators, I've never said it before. <laughs> you know, we have this kind of very romantic moment of, well, let's press floors and see what floor we end up on, and if it's the same one we're meant to be together, which is such a load of <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, get in, take a breath, and then when the door closes, here's a button. I don't understand what you're saying. You don't have to understand. You just have to have faith. What? Destiny. Stop bothering me. I gotta work. I'm gonna call my manager. But I heard that you have a very good fake sneeze. It is quite good, yeah. I was really jealous of people who had allergies when I was at school. But at school, I didn't have them. So people would sneeze, you know, two or three hundred times and then get sent out of a science class. Yeah. I had nothing. I sort of worked up a really convincing sneeze and then tested it out. Hey, presto, outside I was doing something more fun. Because I give the sort of illusion that there's matter in there, and there isn't. So. <laughs> Either an orgasm is an eighth of a sneeze, or a sneeze is an eighth of an orgasm. Which way is it? That's true. Wait, no, but are that's you an really, actual you... medical fact. No, that's a fact. That's definitely true. I just can't fully... <laughs> I don't know which way around it is. What I like about it is a sort of nose orgasm that sometimes... I don't get to sneeze very often. I, I'm not a big <laughs> sneeze. A nose off. orgasm. <laughs> well, for me it is. For you it I is I have good, a very yeah. sensitive nose. If I'm at home, I like to really kind of open my mouth as wide <laughs> And sort of... <laughs> it was so bleak. I'm surprised I ever kissed anyone again. And I was at a party and, and the person who wanted to kiss me was an American, of course. <laughs> Led me on a terrible path that I'm now stuck on. I called my mum. I said, I need to go home now. I've had a horrible experience with some meat. She came and got me. Well, we tracked him down. No! <laughs> I've left like a wet spot and already on the fact. Yeah. I'm just having a little sniff of one of her socks while she's away. <laughs> I, I, actually, I mainly did that to embarrass her. I said, you know, if you leave home, just know I'm going to be going through your underwear drawer, just huffing everything while you're gone. I won't be going out. I won't have a life. I'm just going to be smelling your underpants and your socks. It was time for Rob Lowe to propose to me via postcard <laughs> and draw a penis as a stamp. No, I wouldn't marry anyone, but I would give you the time of day if you drew a penis stamp. Tallest person's back. There's rules for a horse costume. I do tend to travel with it, just in case of a low moment or feel a bit depressed or, you know, you get some bad news or something like that. Generally, get the horse on and you just cheer up immediately. <laughs>
if it's a long shoot somewhere, you know, in Eastern Europe, I think, well, there may be a bleak weekend where right. I feel a bit low in my yeah. spirits and, you know, I might want to have a bit of a canter around the hotel. Um, it was a very impromptu one, because I'd, I'd been... If somebody falls asleep next to me, it's dangerous, because I like to glue beards to them or draw tattoos or whatever it is, Pirates of the Caribbean beard, <laughs> all that. And um, I'd run out of things like that, and, um, and yet I was still after the, the rush of doing it. <laughs> I think I'd got a little, you know, one of those chocolates that, that you get by the bed. Oh, yeah, in hotel And I thought, how funny would it be if I just tucked it in between the person's buttocks while they were asleep? <laughs> and it was really funny. <laughs> so That's halfway amazing. through the day at work, there was the... <laughs> <laughs> and then a kind of a bit of a scuttle backwards to the loo. And then the horror, horror, horror. <laughs> I've done this without even feeling it. It wasn't a Toblerone. It wasn't up it. it no, was just... I know. That was my first horse. Really but that was a rental. That was my first time I ever rented one. They're not the most realistic, but yes, now I paid for that. And you had to have it for three days. It was a bit oppressive. We had to keep getting in. Me and Michael Sheen, he's in the rabbit suit. I can't remember why we were doing that at a bus stop. My friend's husband's dad is a judge in England, and he had to make a law about whether or not it was legal to nail your own testicles to a picnic table. There was so a long debate. So it turned out it is illegal because of the inconvenience to other people, unnailing them. <laughs> you know, it's such a hassle having to call emergency services and untake the nail out of the picnic yeah. table and whatever happened to the testicles, I mean, that's its own problem. <laughs> Very twisted. It's a sort of a horrible human centipede vibe in our house. <laughs> no. I think you should be pleased. She's very attractive. I am she's very, pleased, she's yeah. She's out of your league. I just want you to know that. <laughs> I do think it's a phase, the not conventionally attractive man phase. Oh, not that that's your category. <laughs> and I was still at that kind of magical thinking phase where I felt like I could sort of control things with my mind. So I feel like I helped him win Wimbledon just by sort of squeezing my uterus a lot. <laughs> I mean, I was so desperate. I could literally sort of feel my fallopian tubes kind of going into a ball. And then he'd keep getting a, he'd keep getting a shot, and I thought it was me. You I'm nailed yourself to a picnic table. Making love like gorillas. Um, cos your sex takes me to paradise? It's not hard. I mean, it's not... It's, it's, it's not hard. It's not hard in the sense it's not difficult. You no, in trouble? I haven't got an obsession with that part of the male body. I like arranging fruit and veg into the... It's not, it, it, I like the fruit version. It's not like I'm obsessed with just all people's... OK, gotcha. Penis. This it's funny if it's made out of a couple of... It's not always funny in real life. It's always right. funny if it's vegetables and fruit. Well, it depends. Imagine... No, exactly. And imagine yeah. how excited you are when you get to your hotel room and they've got lychees. Yeah. They're all hairy as well. So oh, my God. So when, when Kate Baxendale sees a light cheese, she just must lose her mind. Oh, you could imagine foaming at the mouth. <laughs> so I know Reddit is the one where sometimes you can find pictures of porn stars with your own face on it. <laughs> I've been sent a few quite distressing photos of myself. Very busy, actually. Not just sort of in a wicker chair, naked, but involved. I see. You know what I mean? with more than one person. <laughs> I just immediately sent it to my mother with no explanation. Really offensively, I get a text back going, oh, darling, oh, dear, oh, no, oh, phew, you've got hardwood floors and that's a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> They're real leaves. They're... They smell like fall. What is it? You're touching your penis.